how did you come up with this? I mean, that is like, that is like one of the coolest conceptual pieces on on preserving languages. In fact, it's the only conceptual piece on preserving languages I've ever seen. Well, first off, I'm glad you actually got it. You know, I mean, that's really cool. But yeah, it was um, this particular design has really evolved over the past couple of years that I've been thinking about it. And the first first version, the first rendition was actually to build a briefcase. I mean, it's going to be just this really hardcore, indestructible briefcase. And once I started getting into the design of it and getting materials and seeing what the weight of it was, it was going to become this, this monstrosity. It was going to be just so heavy. And you don't really associate that with a briefcase. So it, it's like, well, if it's going to be heavy, let's turn it into a vault. And the whole idea behind all of this was is that you're going to have something so impenetrable, so substantial that it's going to take some effort to get inside it. Well, obviously something very important has to be inside this. Well, for native people, what's the most important thing that they have? It is their language. You know, you lose your language, you lose your culture. I mean, bottom line. You know, and so that was a, that was the significance behind what was in it, which were going to be native language to English dictionaries. And that kind of encompassed most of it. But at the same time, when you dictate something like that and you have it in a, in a written format, you really, you're still truly not preserving it. You know, it's it's down on paper, yeah, but the true meanings behind a lot of things, the inflections, how it's used, and everything are completely gone. It's completely static at that point. Hence the title of the piece, Lost in Translation. You know, it's not so much lost because you're dictating it, but it's lost because you no longer hear it. So, yeah, so that was that was the real basis behind this piece. And, uh, yeah, it's a total conceptual art piece, and it was something I've been wanting, like I said, been brewing the idea for about, you know, two years on it, and uh, finally got around to, to building it. And it was just like, all right, cool, you know? It is cool. I mean, there's just nothing, nothing else to say. I mean, I mean, it's just a whole new direction for you. Right. And it's a great direction. I'm just... Well, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, being a, being a metalsmith and, you know, be having, having the ability to do much larger pieces out of other materials is, is really beneficial to me, so... It's really cool that I get to get to indulge just like Cody with his, you know, his cube, you know what I mean? That was just going off on a totally different end, you know, and it's just like, all right, let's have some fun with this. But, you know, I wanted to have fun, but really make people think about it, you know, because that was a big concern. Are people going to get it? You know, it was just like, are they going to understand what I'm trying to say here with this piece and the fact that it's not just something that's pretty, you know, that it's, there's a very subdued but important message know for native people for I think any indigenous language you know it doesn't have to be Native American it could be you know Southern American or you know Aboriginal languages of you know Australia I mean it's just it's that important oh, yeah. so what what after this what what's next for you I mean or what upcoming shows do you um, have upcoming or? shows I've got Indian Market up in Santa Fe which is gonna be my second year there and yeah that's that's really what's coming up down the pipe and i don't know what i'm going to do for my major piece there yet it's uh, this one this one really kind of you know it's like exhausted exhausted my resource so i've got some to some a lot of thinking to do right now see what i can come up with but i don't know if it's going to be as substantial as this piece is it'll be it'll be something cool